Ensure your aperture is the correct size before the installation begins. Make sure to measure at multiple points ensuring there are not any major discrepancies that will cause problems at a later point. It is imperative that the bottom track and sill are fitted 100% level. We recommend always using a laser level to guarantee results. If you need to use window packers, these must be positioned a minimum of 600 millimeters from each other. When fixing the bottom track, you will need to use a counter sunk hole to prevent our gearing from catching. Once the bottom track is full level, this can be fully fixed into place with suitable fixings and silicone as required. The remainder of the framework can now be inserted in place fully level, but only temporarily fixed for now. Using a laser level, ensure the top and bottom master door pins align 100% at this point. The framework can now be fully fixed using suitable fixings. Measure at multiple points along the track to ensure the tracks are the same width apart at all points. Starting with the panel furthest away from the master door, which will be labelled up last sash, separate the first magnet from the cluster by twisting the magnet head and then using a hammer and screwdriver. Then position in the middle of the track, lower sash onto the first sliding block pin and then pivot around to enter the frame ensuring the rebate is positioned correctly. This can be adjusted by tapping off and moving up or down and then replaced. Release the plate from the top block by unscrewing the two Phillips head screws, which will allow the magnet to be inserted and then reattach plate to lock magnet in place. Now the sash is in place, slide along the track until the bottom block touches at this point. The gap between the two magnets ideally needs to be between 12 and 18 millimeters to ensure the correct amount of kick is achieved. Push the door until the magnets meet and then to open pull down the finger bolt catch to release from the track. The adjustment stop can now be adjusted if required and then locked in place by fixing the self-tap screw. Repeat on the remaining sashes until you are left with the master door. Washers can be used to raise the master door as a default setting. We recommend two to begin with. To fix the master door, remove the backing plate from the back of the top block. Insert onto bottom pin and then clamp top pin in place by reattaching the back plate. When glazing the doors, each sliding panel needs to be square glazed and the master door traditionally toe and heeled. To insert the wedge, place a scraper to pull bead way from glass, then insert orange edge towards the bead, making sure to remove the back lip off of the wedge for the widths only. Then tap into place using a wedge of wood and a mallet or similar. The gasket is tight and may require a spray of window cleaner or similar to assist. Adjustments. The master door can be adjusted, if required, by loosening the top or bottom bolts and moving sash as required. Beware not to over-adjust as the door may then hit the rebated jam. The sliding sashes have an adjustment block located on the bottom corner of each side. This can be used to square up a sash, but must only be used for slight adjustments. If you need a drastic adjustment, something will be wrong elsewhere. If the door is catching at the bottom or catching on the top track when you go to release a sash, each sliding block has a 5mm Allen key bolt, which can be wound in and out to adjust the amount of kick. If the finger bolt is catching on the top track or not engaging properly, as it is returned to the frame, this can be lowered or raised by removing the male insert by lifting straight up and moving the block up and down. Screw must be removed first. Stiff sliding sash, most likely cause top track is not running parallel, will need to be raised or lowered. Option 2. Wheel block may be damaged. Remove sash and ensure both sets of wheels are running smooth. Option 3. Bottom or top track may be twisted. Ensure the tracks are not tilting in or out. Both wheels should be touching the bottom track.